Today is a very exciting day because I got a special package in the mail from Sony. This is the new 16-35 f4 power zoom lens, which is an interesting little guy. And since I'm a vlogger, YouTube content creator, I thought it'd be fun to vlog my day and show you what's it like to be a YouTuber and as well talk a little bit about this lens. Today is gonna be a very miscellaneous day. Usually I have either like a filming day or then an editing day. But then once in a while you need these administrative days just to take care of a whole bunch of tasks. So I'm gonna start off the day with a meeting now at 9 a.m. Uh, then we're gonna set up the office a little better because I've been neglecting it for a while and it's finally time to put up some frames and just make this place a lot nicer. And then we'll continue our day from there and see what else we gotta take care of today. Can you hear me? Interesting meeting. I, I was not expecting uh, Dorian to be an American because I was having a meeting with a company in China. But it's nice to connect some North Americans, uh, cooking up some interesting opportunities for the future. Can't say too much about them, but um, let's just say it's gonna be fun. There's gonna be a lot of cool opportunities coming up. But now we are gonna take care of something that I have been neglecting for a long time and that's this office. I have been traveling a lot, so yeah, it's all excuses. But recently, I went and picked up from the store two new plants, so we gotta figure out where those go. And then, I actually have some picture frames and some prints. And I think that's gonna make this office a lot more homey and cozy because right now, when you just look around, it's quite bare everywhere and I think, uh, it also might help with the sound. So let's set those up and uh, take it from there. I gotta admit that I don't know too much about plants, but the tag said that this should be in like half sunlight, half shade. So I thought if it's in between the two windows, it's not a direct light, but it's still getting some sunlight. And the same thing for this guy. So it's gonna be in this corner. And then, I thought it's good because from this angle back here, pulling up the desk, you'll see the plant over here and a nice little plant over there. I just hope that I don't have to go back to the plant store in like a month because these guys have died. Here's to take care of plants. All right, tackling task number two. Ordered some prints. I think it's always nice to put some character into the office. This is one of the prints from the California road trip. It's a drone shot from Big Sur. And then I thought for this next season, since the big thing that's happened in our life is that we're having a kid, <laughs> it's me and Vera on the coast. This is like the same spot where we pretty much started dating like seven years ago. And now seven years later, we went to that exact same spot and took our baby reveal photos. So I thought it'd be fun to put this on the office wall to remind myself. I'm gonna be a dad and I gotta be responsible. Gotta say, these look pretty dang good. What do you guys think? Ooh, that's my boy. Now we gotta figure out how to get these on this wall. One of the downsides of my office is that they're all concrete walls. Just listen, it's not drywall. So instead of drilling holes into the wall in order to get my prints up, I got double-sided tape hoping that that double-sided adhesive would stick to the wall. So we are, all right, the Gorilla Mountain. Now for the taping. Let's kind of put this on, then you take off the other side and then stick to the wall. Let's say I have a, uh, very little confidence that this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try anyways. It wasn't the double-sided kind of tape that I was thinking, and as well, this material is kind of like rough, so it doesn't stay on very well, but let's try. Yeah, it's not working. And we broke the picture frame. Well, that didn't work at all, like the way I planned. Maybe I need a friend here to do this. <laughs> what a loss. <sighs> Guess we're back to the drawing board. 
I think there's a reason why I am a filmmaker, photographer, and not a carpenter. I just don't enjoy doing this kind of stuff, especially when you don't have the right tools. All right, moving on, next task. I'm giving up on that one. We'll take it on another day. But the next task, I've had this studio backdrop here, just hang with a little curtain thing. This doesn't really do much at all. But I want this stand with this gray backdrop in the foyer room here because it'd be nice to be able to do some product shots and stuff like that and portraits. But the problem I had was that with the stands and the whole backdrop, it's too wide. So my plan is to saw the studio backdrop shorter. That way I can put it here. Again, hopefully this hack job will work because if this fails as well, all has failed today. So the problem is that when I have the leg stands in the corners, this wall paper was way too wide. So it'd be like from there to the doorway. So my thinking is if I cut off some of the wall paper and then put it there, that'll be perfect studio. Now you might be wondering what I was thinking too. How in the world do you cut a studio backdrop? Because you're not getting through that with scissors and things. So went to my local handy store and bought me a handsaw. I don't know if this is gonna work, but in my mind, that's all I could think of that you could saw through that paper and then through the little cardboard circle thing in the middle tube. I don't know what it's called, but we're gonna try it and see if this hack job works. Can you tell I'm not a carpenter builder kind of guy? Yeah, I have no shame in admitting that, that I have no skills in this department, but I'm trying my best. Do like All these tasks would be a lot easier with a little bit of help, but I'm here by myself, so you just gotta make it happen. At least we succeeded in doing something today. Great backdrop. Fits very nicely here now. Uh, just gotta clean up all this mess now, but hey, success. It's uh, a little bit rough around the edges, but um. It'll do just fine. This will this will work for what I need. All right, since we're on this theme of uh, doing the office makeover, maybe we should also do a office cleanup because holy smokes, it is messy everywhere. And to be honest, it's hard to focus when it's really messy. So today we are gonna clean this place spotless, or try to. I don't know about you guys, but I hate all these random cables, so I thought I would do a little bit of organization. Maybe get some tape later and tape it along that wall. Now, this is every YouTuber's nightmare in their desk. This is my desk one, desk two, all this junk, and desk three. This one's the worst of all. It's almost like a storage table. I should probably do something about it. It'd be much more enjoyable to see a clean table. My uh, main editing desk looks very clean and pristine. Look at that. Haven't seen it this clean in weeks, months. But the truth is I actually just moved all the stuff here. And now we gotta tackle this table. <laughs> That's my strategy, you know, go from one table to the next and then it ends up in the foyer desk because out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Table three done. We'll leave some of that gear because we use it on a daily basis, but uh, looking pretty good. So like I said, this is the Sony 16 to 35 F4 power zoom lens. And at first trying this lens out, it is very small and light. Comparing it to its big brother, this is the 16 to 35 F2.8. This is a beast. This lens is heavy, it is bigger. Yes, you do get 2.8 f-stop, but this guy is really small. It's really light, small, so when you think of vlogging lens, it's really nice because you have the same range and focal length as 
the 60 thread f2.8, you have 16 35 here, you get the wide when you want to vlog, and if you want to get tighter in, get some nice b-roll shots, you have 35, but you don't have to pay the price of the size or the weight. Another unique feature in this lens is the power zoom feature. You can, with the click of this button, pushing it down or pushing it up to go tighter, you can zoom out or you can zoom in. Now, this might not be a feature that I'm using all the time, but for a lot of filmmakers, it's a really important feature to have in the lens. Maybe you are a documentary filmmaker or maybe you're a news reporter and you need the capabilities of being able to zoom in and zoom out very smoothly, which people would get with traditional video cameras. And now with mirrorless cameras, a lot of people haven't been able to get that feature, but now using the lens like the Sony 1635 power zoom, they get that feature where they can zoom in very precisely in and out. So that's a really cool feature that they've added into this lens. As well, a bonus of being very light and small, I am assuming that the price difference between these lenses is going to be pretty huge because this lens, as amazing as it is, it is expensive. So for someone getting into vlogging or someone who needs a power zoom lens, this is gonna be a much more affordable option. If you are interested in this lens, I'll make sure to link it below. And once again, I just wanna say thank you Sony for sending me this lens to test out. It's always fun to test out new gear. Now we just gotta deal with all of this garbage. <laughs> Definitely time for lunch. First, I'm gonna go pick up some packages that I'm expecting, grab some lunch, and then back to the office for the afternoon to do my final tasks for the day. It's felt productive today. Not everything went right at first, but at least some things went right. Otherwise, it would have been a miserable day. I don't know about you guys, but whenever it's a sunny day, everything feels 10 times more enjoyable to take care of even menial administrative tasks like get the boxes. It's all much, much more enjoyable after a long, dark winter. <laughs> Let's get the zoom on. I think I should take my car for a wash. It's pretty dang dirty. The problem is that when you wash it, it's dirty like the next day, but it still probably does good for the car. All right, time to get package two. It's great as a YouTuber that you don't even know what packages you're getting, but got some sort of package. The... All right, pull. Who here was the type of kid that absolutely loved the car wash or was absolutely petrified? Because it can be kind of a scary thing, the car wash. It's super loud and just like things are hitting your car and stuff. Comment below, I'd love to hear. The car is clean again. Oh, looking good. The Kia hasn't looked this clean in a long time. Let's just say that pretty much all winter long. All right, I think it's my time to enjoy lunch now. I've taken care of enough tasks. It's my time now. I could go get McDonald's, but I think I'm gonna go do the healthy route and get myself a salad. I'm trying my best to eat healthier. Classic, carrying so much stuff and then you still gotta have the camera in your hand. Huh. No free hands. And every lunch, drink of choice, definitely Pepsi Max. I don't know about you guys in North America, but I enjoy it thoroughly. All right, lunch break's done. Thought it'd be fun to create some content for my Instagram account. I have so much drone footage and all this footage from trips, but I just don't ever post it on Instagram. So I thought, let's make some reels. Let's see what happens with them. All right, just finished editing. A little bit of a hack for you guys. If you're planning to do some social media content, I would highly recommend just batch editing a whole bunch of videos and photos all at once rather than every day or every few days going back and editing. I just pumped out three reels and cover photos for all the reels and some extra photos for me to post on Instagram. So this is a very productive afternoon. Now I got one task for the day. I need to do a voiceover and as you can tell, my room doesn't have the best audio. So my plan is to build a little fort 
with pillows underneath that desk and use my new podcast mic from Dady to get a really nice bassy voice for the voiceover. So let's see what we come up with. Click. The Dady podcast microphone. I can't say I'm much of a voiceover artist, so let's see how this goes. The longer I've been a filmmaker, the more I appreciate all the artists. Now it's the next challenge, finding a song that fits the project. You gotta spend a lot of time just looking through, but once you find the right song, it's definitely worth it. All right, so that's my day in a nutshell. We got the office cleaned up. We epically failed on putting picture frames, but I did get the studio backdrop up, which I'm very excited about. Then I went and got some packages, lunch, got some reels done, and got the voiceover for a future project. So. We got a lot of stuff done. This is one of those days where you just gotta smash it all out, but good times, happy that the office is in much better condition. As you can tell, the sun is shining, so I think it's time to go outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. Peace.